were working with people who were going through some of the harshest times in their lives. They would see the Red Cross coming uh, in their direction and they would start to smile right away and you could see the hope start to come back to their eyes. There she goes in front of me Take my life, set me free again I met a man in Houston whose entire belongings were scattered all over his front yard. I asked him, what is your next step? He replied in one word, rebuild. Take me back again We'll make a memory out of it the pace and tempo of the operation was intense and the decision making in my role was literally minute by minute. The real payoff was watching 20,000 meals a day that we provided to people who were struggling. It's gotta get easier, oh, easier somehow. Falling, I'm falling, oh, easier. Working in the shelters with the people that are experiencing this devastation. There's joyous things that go on around. I mean, life doesn't just come to an end. We had newborn babies in our shelter, pups that was born during uh, the disaster. But not today. Not today. I met a volunteer in Florida who lost her home to Irma. She was asked if she needed a day off. She said, no, there are people who have lost more than me and they need my help. That's the dedication you find in a Red Cross volunteer. Holy rollers at my back, don't look on, take me back again. And what's great about all this is that you can feel the camaraderie not only between the Red Cross staff and volunteers, but also between partner groups as we stood side by side to help the community. We came together as a team to fulfill our mission to help the people.